Hey everyone, how are you? Uh, as always, I come on here and I'm like, it has, it has been way too long. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your Friday nights, if you, this Friday night. Um, if you're not familiar with me, I'm Carly Myers. I'm the founder of A Piece of Positivity Studios, aka A Pop Studios. And what I do is I help people who are no longer happy um, in their job or career or life uh, find their joy again. And so I do that through a combination of coaching, creative expression, and um, experiential activities. So tonight I was just sitting here, chilling out. I was about to watch my new guilty pleasure, literally only on episode five, um, which is Sex and the City. Do not judge me. <laughs> Do not judge me. Um, and I was just thinking about how it is that each and every one of us can really just learn or, or take steps to manifest more abundance in our lives. Um, and there's really two things that really needs to happen that I really wanted to share with you um, in regards to like how to create more, um, you know, more time, more money, uh, more love, more connection, you know, whatever it is that you want more of. And, you know, the first thing that I really, I really think is so important when it comes to manifesting um, like I'm sitting here in my new house, like I, you know, that's so exciting. I have a couch for the longest time, guys. I did not have a couch. Um, the 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 thing that really helps you manifest is giving the universe, giving God, giving Creator, whatever you call that energy, you know, um, that thing that got us here, um, giving the universe a clear picture of what it is that you want. So sure, yes, you want more money. But what is it that you're going to spend the money on? Why do you want want more money? How much more money do you want? Do you want, you know, a million dollars or do you want $100? Or do you want something in between or bigger or less, right? So the universe really, creator really just has, you know, has to has to know how to show up for you. It's kind of like saying, I want a house, um, and then, you know, getting a shack, and then being like, well, this isn't a house, right? Getting like a, a studio house, like a, a house that's like the size of a studio apartment, and, and you going back to the universe and being like, this isn't what I asked for, right? So one of the most important things when it comes to manifesting something in your life is having a really, really clear picture as to what it is that you want it, uh, what it is that you want. So for instance, for me, you know, I was formerly in a really unhealthy relationship and I uh, was in a just, you know, not in a great financial spot, not in a great relationship, you know, not in, you know, the job that was going to fuel my soul. It's quite stressful. So what what it was that I did was I did for me an exercise that I find really helpful, which I know you guys have heard me say probably a million and one times, which is collegoing. Um, and it, it collegoing is an exercise where you go one year into the future, um, like as a visualization exercise, one year into the future, and speak as if it's the present moment, and and say why your life is going so great. Um, so back when I had, you know, a job that really was stressful, underpaid me, da 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 da. You know, I was in a, a healthy relationship. I wasn't making nearly enough money to, to you know, get decent groceries, right? Um, I was would do this exercise, and what I did was I created space to determine what those details were in my life that we're going to go, you know, that, that is really what I wanted. I wanted a healthy relationship. I wanted a man who loved and respected me and, and vice versa. Right. I wanted to feel my body better. So I was talking about eating spinach and strawberries and all sorts of stuff. I wanted a furry friend, right? I wanted a bigger space where I could spread out and have outdoor space that wasn't shared with, you know, everyone in my building, right? Because um, I was living in, a, in an apartment at the time. So it was just, I was building a clear picture 
as to what it is that I want. I wanted a furry friend. I wanted to lose five pounds. Uh, I wanted, to, well, actually it wasn't even five pounds. That's just what happened. I wanted a flat tummy. Um, I wanted a specific type of relationship, a guy who liked art and, and music and da 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 da. Um, and I got really clear on what it was that I wanted. And what's crazy is I did this every day for 90 days. And at the end of that 90 days, I actually ended one relationship, you know, met someone new, got a furry friend in my life. Like everything just flipped upside down because the universe was able to say, oh, this is what you want. Yeah, sure, I'll meet you halfway, right? I did the work, the universe did the other half. It happened. It was crazy, actually, because it all had happened, and I didn't even realize it until after I looked back at some of my video journals where I was actually recording my Kaleidos. So, the, you know, so that's one exercise that you can use. Another exercise is stream of consciousness writing, where you just write and write and write, and there's no wrong or right answer. You're just writing about, you know, what it is that you want until you can pick and choose what pieces of information, what what really it is that you want in your life. Um, so you want a house. Well, how many bedrooms? Do you want an office? Do you want a backyard? Do you want this? Do you want that? Who's going to live in the house with you? So like that stream of consciousness will help you get down to the nitty gritty details as to what you want to manifest. Um, and so, you know, those are just two exercises that you can use to get down to the details of what it is that you want so that you can, that the universe can meet you halfway so that God can meet you halfway. And um, the other thing that I think is really important when it comes to manifesting more, more of anything in your life, is creating space for it to arrive, right? A lot of us think that we have to do all this work, 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 work. I know I work with a lot of type A folks, and I know I have, a lot of you guys are, you know, um, have type A tendencies. Um, even you type B guys sometimes end up doing actions as if you're type A. Um, which is not your truest nature, so that's a whole other conversation. But, you know, another thing that needs to happen when it comes to manifesting is doing your part and then surrendering. Surrendering to the powers that be, letting whatever it is that's going to show up, show up. You send the emails, you, you know, stand up and speak in front of a room, you start, you know, get your LLC and con go to networking events and do this, whatever. You know, you apply for jobs, but then you stop, you pause, and you give yourself time to recuperate and rest and live life the way you would if you already had manifested stuff. So, you know, I was sitting here about to press play on Sex in the City, and I thought, what a great time for me to just check in with you guys and talk about this. Because right now, all, all today from like 10 a.m. to 6 o'clock, from 10 a.m. to like 4 o'clock, and I went and got dinner and went grocery shopping and whatnot, but um, from 10 a.m. to like 4 p.m., I was setting up a table for the Mainline Art Center's event tomorrow that's in um, Haverford, PA, and I did my work. I did it. I, I brought everything that I've got, you know, everything that I could, and then I surrendered. So right now, I'm not running around like a chicken like my chicken with my head cut off saying oh I could add, add this or oh I could do that or this this and this this could make it better I did everything that I could and then I said it's time to recuperate it's time to create space so that the universe has time to do whatever manifesting it has to do on on its end so figure out what you want in detail and create space for for God the universe whatever it is that you believe to meet you halfway because those two things are just going to, those two things are just going to skyrocket your ability to manifest. Um, and not only that, but if you rest and you create space for things to manifest in your life, when they do come, you're going to, you're going to have the capability, the ability to really be grateful because you're well rested and you are, you're taken care of. It's not like what's next. Uh, I have to fill some other hole in my soul, right? It is, I've manifested it. Holy shiza. I'm so excited. You know, and the feelings just pouring, the feelings of gratitude just pour out of you. So if you're looking for help, you know, in your life manifesting more, whether that's more time or more money or more joy uh, in your career and your work, I mean, 
we 75, what is it like 75% of us are unhappy at work. Um, like if you need support around that, know that I am here. I just want to offer, you know, a free complimentary, you know, on the house, 30, 30 minute conversation with me um, so that you can start manifesting more, more in your life and so that you can build the life that you want because like you were put on this planet for a reason in this universe, in this floating, you know, floating thing called earth. And you have a purpose, and um, I'd love to help you, you know, find that if you don't know what it is, or if you do know what it is, just move forward on it, um, so that you can just live your most joyous and fulfilled life. So um, I love you guys. I know it's like 10:30 on a Saturday night, um, but I just wanted to pop on here, share with you what I'm up to. Um, I know there's a lot of like stigma around, like, oh, you should be out partying or you should do that, like. Guys, I'm hanging in in the house on a Friday night, having a good old time, just watching some Amazon Prime video. Like, so it it doesn't you're like Saturday, Friday night. Oh, I guess it's a Friday night. Tonight's Friday. Um, <laughs> but it it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It it really doesn't. And whatever your body is craving, whatever your soul is craving, let it happen. Give yourself that rest. Anyway, I love you guys. Enjoy your Friday night, your weekend, um, and I will talk to you soon.